From the outside, the offices of BioWare, connected to the Radisson Hotel near Calgary Trail, pretty ordinary, surrounded by a lot of very Edmonton pickup trucks. But inside, they're making magical worlds. I am the Inquisitor. One of the great things about this industry is that you can do whatever you want. There's, there's, the technology has reached a point now where it is amazing. It is, it is practically magic at this point. Um, and it's only getting better. The games are much different than uh, film in that the majority of your quality is not coming from a few performances. Um, they certainly matter, but it's coming from the work of a lot of other people. I mean, we have 60 some designers that are working on, on encounter construction and cinematics, and um, we have 70 artists plus, uh, plus art outsourcing that that are building the levels and the spaces that you're existing in. Like these are these are the jobs that ultimately affect the quality of the game. The world of Dragon Age is called Thetis. So the first Dragon Age came out in uh, in 2009, so just over five years ago. Um, it started being worked on, ooh, probably six years before that. This is a franchise that's a long time in building. The world is is beautiful. It responds to what they do. Their their choices and, and their actions matter in the world. Um, there are things you can do in in Dragon Age, as an example, that you just can't do anywhere else, and you can't you can't see an experience anywhere else. Well, so I mean, this has always been our goal from the beginning of this project was to bring exploration back. Our games were much bigger. What we wanted was something that was was open, um, where you had lots of room to explore and see the world and immerse yourself in the space, but also still have a uh, core narrative thread that guided you through the experience. So we believe very much uh, at Bioware that uh, player choice is fundamental and that um, it is, we, as, a, as a game, as a maker of role-playing games, we do our best to give you a role to play. It's part, you're part historian, part tourist, uh, part actor, um, and I think all of these things uh, mean that you're always being um, engaged in some way. And even more so than that, you're not being engaged in a single way for too long. Um, you're able to pass back and forth. When you're moving, when you're tired of combat, you can move and explore and become more of a tourist. When you want to figure out how the world works, you can become a detective for a little bit of while, while and try to just figure out how the, the, the gears of the world fit together. I, I think because of that, you're able to to just immerse yourself more deeply. It's more like going on a a one-week trip to Europe than it is going for a, a one-day trip to Las Vegas. When we really succeed, we are um, offering a level of agency that is beating and surpassing what you get in, in, in real life. I personally hate it when people stand around and talk about how this is all new and everything. No, this is stories and such are timeless. They've We've been doing this as human beings for thousands, tens of thousands of years. The, the opportunities to story tell improve, the opportunities to do that in new and interesting ways improves, but I don't, I, I don't like it when people tell me that even what we do at Bioware is, is you know, unique or anything, no. We're just, we're just doing what people have done for millennia just using the technology we have today. We've come a long way from cave paintings to immersive video games, but it's a surprisingly short distance from the Radisson Hotel to the world of Thetis.